Hi everyone, this is HMNS video number 19 and you are most welcome for it. Today we want to talk about advanced filter in Excel. Advanced filter is one of the Excel feature that is used to filter data in Excel. And it's mostly used when you are filtering with complex criteria. Our second last example is actually going to demonstrate this. And we get to know a situation where we may choose advanced filter to filter our data instead of using other filter options. Let's switch on to it and we get to know more about advanced filter in Excel. Now we have this table here showing Pepsi products sold in June 2024. Now when you're filtering your data using advanced filter, you need to set your criteria aside or on top of your table, the criteria that we are going to use to filter your data. Like for our case here, we have our criteria set beside our table here. We want all the records for Northern region having the amounts greater than 1 million. Now, when you are setting your criteria, you need to make sure you put that the table header and then you put the criteria below it. And the table headers for your criteria must be having the same spelling as the table headers in your data set. Now, let's see how we can filter in Excel using advanced filter. When you click on a single cell within your data set, then you come to data and in the sort and filter group, you click on advanced. It opens for you the advanced filter dialog box. Now this is the dialog box that is used to filter your data. Now it has options. If you want to know more about advanced filter, you can click on this question marks and it will give you more information about advanced filter. But now if you want to filter your data, by default it's always filter the list in place. If you want to filter the list in place, that's the range where the data set is sitting, you can leave filter list in place checked. If you want to copy your results, the filter result to another location, then you need to click copy to another location. But by default, filter list in place is always checked. The list range is the range where the data set is sitting. So you select where the data set is sitting in case you did not guess it correctly. The criteria range is the range where you have set your criteria. And now the copy to, when the filter list in place is checked, the copy to is always grayed out, meaning it's not active. But immediately you click copy to another location, the copy to is now active. So before I do anything, I'm going to highlight this, then delete. And then this last option, unique records only, we're going to see what it does in our last example. So let's see how we can use this advanced filter dialog box. But before we start using it, I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut to go to advanced filter dialog box. So I'm going to hit escape to remove it. Now you click on a single cell in your data set. The keyboard shortcut to go to advanced filter is Alt A Q. It opens for you the same dialog box. First, I'm going to go to copy to another location. I like the copy to and then delete. So I'm going to scroll up. So in our first example, we want to filter the list in place. In the list range, that is the range of cells where our data set is sitting. I'm going to hit tab. Then in the criteria range, you highlight the range of cells where you have set your criteria. And then since we want to filter the list in place, you select filter the list in place. You do not need to put anything in the copy tool because we want the results to be filtered in the place where the data set is sitting. So you simply need to click OK. And once you do that, you can see that our data set is now filtered, showing only the records for the northern region with amounts greater than 1 million. Now our second example is this one here. Click on a single cell within that proper data set, Alt A Q to open the advanced filter dialog box. Now, each and every time you run advanced filter, it will keep on remembering the previous ranges you have used. So you need to keep on redirecting it each and every time you run advanced filter. Now, this second example, we want to copy to another location. Then in the list range, we want to redirect it, highlight it. You click on the new range. Control shift down arrow, right arrow to highlight the entire range. Tab to go to the criteria range. Now in the criteria range, it's still remembering the previous criteria, but we want to redirect it to the new criteria. And then tab, I'm going to delete the copy to. So we want to copy to cell H28. Once you have selected all those fields, you simply need to click OK. And you can see that the result is now copied to a new location. Now, if you check these two, these results and these results here, they are the same. 
And by the way, if you want to change the criteria, you simply need to come here and you change it to, like for example, you can do Western region, and when you hit enter, it does not update automatically. You need to run the advanced filter again in order for it to update. You simply click on the single cell, all AQ. Now this time around it remembers all the ranges correctly. You simply need to change to copy to another location. And then when you click, okay. You give it some time and you can see that it has changed now from northern region to western region now. So now let's scroll down for one next example. Now if you remember up here, our criteria range, we were listing only two columns. Like for our case here, it was region and amount and it was filtering for us the entire data. Now when you come down here, you're also allowed to list the entire columns, but you need to put that the criteria only on the columns you want to filter. Like for example, in the region, you still want northern region and then the amount greater than 1 million. So the rest of the column, you can leave it empty without any criteria. So let's see. Click on the single cell, Alt A Q. You simply need to redirect it. I'm going to click copy to another location. In the list range, click highlight it. Then you redirect it to the range you want. You click, Control Shift, down arrow, right arrow to highlight the range. And then tab. When it comes to the criteria range, you also redirect it to the criteria you want. You highlight the criteria, field names first, and then the criteria, and then tab. Now in the location, copy to, I'm going to delete, and then I simply click, copy to this cell here. When you click, you can see that you get the results you want. So now let's scroll down for our next example. Now our next example, we are going to see what is called an OR logical criteria or an OR logical test. That means you're going to filter two records from one column. That is from the product column. You want Pepsi or Mirinda. That's when you're filtering from one column. Now when you're filtering from more than one columns, that is an AND logical test. So let's start by seeing how we can filter using the OR logical test. Click on a single cell. Old AQ to open advanced filter. It remembers our previous ranges. I'm going to click copy to another location. Tab to go to the list range. I'm going to delete it. Then scroll down. I'm going to redirect it to this data set. Control shift down arrow, right arrow. Tab. Now in the criteria range, I'm going to change it. Delete. And then I'm going to change it to this criteria range here. Tab. Delete copy to this cell here. When you click OK, remember we want only the products of Mirinda and Pepsi. That is the criteria we have given up there. So that's an OR logical test. Let's also see how we can do an logical test using advanced filter. We want the region to be northern and the products should be Pepsi. Click on the single cell, Alt AQ to open advanced filter. First I'm going to Click copy to another location, tab, in the list range, I'm going to delete the range there. Then I scroll down, redirect it to this data set, control shift down arrow, right arrow. And then tab, I'm going to scroll down, first of all delete the criteria range, and then redirect it to this range. Tab, delete, then copy to, I'm going to copy to this cell here. When you click OK. It seems like we don't have any records for product of Pepsi from Northern region. Let's change the region to Eastern and we see. Now, when you change a criteria like this, you need to run advanced filter once again. You click Alt AQ to open advanced filter, copy to another location. It always remember everything very well. When you click OK, you can now see that we have two records for the Eastern region and Pepsi products. So that is an logical test. So you need to keep in mind that when you're filtering records from the same column, that means you're doing an OR logical test. And when you're filtering from more than one column, that means you're doing an AN logical test. So you can as well filter using a wildcard. Like in our criteria here, we want the products that start with M and it's followed by any letter. That's what asterisk means, meaning anything that follows M. If you check from here, Mountain Dew is one of them, and then Mirinda is another one. So let's see how we can filter using a wildcard. Alt AQ, copy to another location, tab. I'm going to delete this range, scroll down, redirect it to this range, control shift, down arrow, right arrow, 
tab delete then in the criteria range i'm going to highlight this criteria here tab delete i'm going to copy my range to this cell when you click okay you can see that we have all the records for the products that are starting with letter m that is mountain dew and mirinda that's what this wildcard is meaning our next example shows the real power of advanced filter now here we have multiple criteria combining the or and and logical test and complex criteria so if you want to do an logical test in one column you simply need to repeat the column and then you put it the way we have done it here want records for the date greater than or equal to 1st of june 2024 and less than or equal to 15th of june 2024 in simple terms we want records from 1st to 15th of june 2024 for northern western and eastern region meaning we are leaving out only the central region and we don't want the records for pepsi this is the excel way of saying not equals to combining the less than and equals to sign together shows excel that that is not equals to so we don't want type c and for the amount we're also repeating the columns we want all the records whose amount is greater than 500,000 and less than or equals to 1.5 million since for region we have three different regions here you need to fill up the spaces here with the same criteria you have put there so that the entire criteria range is filled up so let's see whether advanced filter is going to give us the answer for this complex criteria so you click on a single cell alt a q i'm going to copy to another location tab delete in the list range i'm going to scroll down redirect it to this cell Control shift down arrow right arrow and then tab in the criteria range i'm going to delete this it's remembering our previous criteria so i'm going to redirect it to these criteria here the field names and then the complex criteria tab i'm going to delete the copy to and then redirect it to copy to this cell here so when you click ok you can see that we have three records that is between first and 15th of june and the products within one pepsi and now the amount should be between 500,000 and 1 million so the advanced filter was able to give us that answer so let's scroll down and we see our last example we have this table here showing the survey data which was got as a result of asking this question which school in our area has the best signpost location and they have listed down the school codes here so we want to use advanced filter to get the unique list of these school codes so you click on a single cell alt a q i'm going to click copy to another location tab in the list range delete scroll down i'm going to redirect it to this list here Control shift down arrow tab in the criteria range now since we want only the unique list we don't need to put there any criteria so i'm going to simply click delete and then tab but in the copy to you need to redirect it to the cell where you want to copy to so i'm going to delete and then copy it to this cell here now very importantly let me first scroll this one here you need to make sure unique records only is checked so you need to check this and then you click ok advanced filter will only list for you the unique list of all the school codes here yeah that is it for advanced filter in excel please if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and if you found this video interesting like it and share it with your friends also until next video, HM and S video number 20, and then we meet again. Thank you.